again, why? Perfect example. I tell this story. I've spoken to the ticket summit before, and I think I've told this story uh, every time. My, here's the big problem. My mom is your traditional theater goer. She lives in Massachusetts. She called me about a year and a half ago and said, I'm taking the grandkids to see Annie at the Wang. I was like, great, that's great. You're, this is how we develop new audiences for the future. And then she said to me, I don't think I'll be able to take those kids to see any more shows. It's getting too expensive. I said, well, how much did you pay? She said $135 a ticket. And it seemed very high for the Wang and for a show that I knew was not sold out. And sure enough, I asked her, well, mom, how did you get the ticket? She said, well, I went to the Google. That's what she calls it. Uh, and of course, she Googled tickets. Annie Wang Center, a secondary market seller, came up. She thought it was the primary seller. She purchased the tickets. And this, again, is the problem, because the words that came out of her mouth were, I'm not sure if I'll be able to take my kids to, to the, my grandkids to see theater anymore. And that's what gets producers and me and our backs up. And we get very concerned about our future. 